Starry stonewort is an invasive macroalgae. It grows tall up to four to six feet and has these round branchlets that come off of a stem. And it can impact water bodies by growing in these fairly dense mats. It can impede recreation by getting real thick and topping out at the surface. And there's also concerns that it can be crowding out native species and creating a lot of biomass um, that could have other impacts to the environment. So we started Starry Trek in 2017 and it was an effort to get folks all across Minnesota to help us see if we could find starry stonewort in some other locations. It had just been found a couple years earlier in Lake Coronas in Stearns County, and then in 2017 there was kind of a flurry of new discoveries, and we wondered if maybe it was in more lakes than had been reported so far. So at the University of Minnesota, we do the central coordination for Starry Trek, and we work with partners across the state to hold this in multiple locations all at the same time. And we have around 200 volunteers every year who show up and they help search lakes that are near them. Every year, uh, locally in Sherburne County, we typically have about 15 volunteers that come out and spend their Saturday morning with us looking at the different lakes and scouring them for different forms of AIS. We have support from a, a Sherburne County Coalition of Lake Associations, so a number of volunteers from that group, but then just uh, ordinary citizens that want to come out and uh, enjoy their day trouncing through the water and having fun. We're the third generation in our family on Big Lake on this property, and when we moved here a few years ago, we wanted to get involved and learn how to take care of the lake. And a few years ago, we did get zebra mussels in Big Lake, and so we're, we've been very active looking for starry stonewort. And uh, so every year we volunteer for this Starry Trek project. Five years ago, my mom took me to Starry Trek, and I enjoyed it, so I just kept on coming back. I really enjoy it when I find something, but I also feel a sense of relief when I don't. 